Previously on Survivor, 15 new castaways and three STC legends began a new adventure at Ohio State as they began Survivor Time and Change Urban Legends. They were split into three tribes based on the tenets of the game. Terra Tibu being outwit consists of Luke, Hannah, Mel, Robbie, Jamie, and Vinny. Shindana being outplay consists of David, Josh, Juliana, Curran, Autumn, and Taylor. And Kaidi being outlast consists of Greg, Nora, Rachel, Jenna, Ben, and Kevin. In the first immunity challenge, the tribes were made even throughout, but in the end, Teratiba's choice in the puzzle cost them the challenge. On Shindana, Autumn revealed her pre-existing relationship with Jenna and pushed her to link up with her season two friend Greg, while Josh and Jamie became wary of both Autumn for lying about her season two history and Curran who tried to link up with Vinny. On Kaidi, Nora was suspicious of returning player Greg, but unbeknownst to her, Greg already set to work gathering new allies in Rachel and Jenna with Ben in mind as a potential fourth vote, putting Kevin and Nora on the bottom. On Terra Tibu, Hannah, Vinny, and Jamie set their sights on Robbie after discovering that he and Mel had a pre-existing connection. But on the flip side, Mel established a relationship with Luke, and those two, along with Robbie, originally looked to target Vinny for being a threatening player. With a potential 3-3 split on the horizon, Luke set out to and convinced the tribe to agree to a 5-1 vote on Hannah. However, Mel and Robbie were not satisfied and at the last second convinced Luke to change his vote, resulting in Vinny's ousting for the game in a 3-2-1 vote leaving Hannah and Jamie stunned. 17 are left. Who will be voted out tonight? I have no idea what has happened. Like, absolutely none. I'm just, I'm very surprised. I did not see that coming at all. I was working with Vinny, which is me and Vinny are the only two people that voted Hannah. So, that's why I'm worried. <laughs> and at last minute, me, Mel, orchestrated a plan to ingrain in Luke's head to vote Vinny off, because it was really his decision. If the three of us sit here and vote Vinny, we have the votes. Exactly. Three, two, one. on display. One, check please. <laughs> check please. <laughs> so, me, Robbie, and Mel are tight. Obviously, we were the ones who pulled that off, and I sure hope we can get back Jamie and Hannah because, I mean, Vinny needed to go. The moment I knew Vinny was on my team, I was like, nobody does it. Nobody does it. Like, Will Wall, why didn't he leave him almost immediately? Like, nobody gets the person that is the biggest threat. They always say, I'm the biggest threat but it like, just doesn't seem to happen. Like, it doesn't seem to come together. So I think it's a very big move. <laughs> We're sorry you're gone, Vinny. We loved you. We are actually really bummed. Despite we the, are. Uh, the, the smiles right there. Yeah, it was funny, but like, we should have worn black. We're really sad. Vinny going sucked. It was a huge loss. We go into season two and we don't know anybody and that's normal immediately i clicked with people and it was great and then as the season went on you get so close to people you develop like friendships you love everybody and everyone cares about you and it's so hard to go into season three where people don't feel like that anymore these people i they just don't want to work with me and that's so frustrating because they don't even know me so it's just going back to square one and being alone and it really sucks. You know, Autumn 
doesn't feel like she's in great shape um, on her tribe. Uh, I feel like I'm maybe in a little better shape, but Autumn definitely, definitely doesn't feel too comfortable. She feels like she's working with a bunch of idiots. Uh, cheers. Cheers. I saw Vinny today walking across the Oval, and um, he didn't really, he kind of gave me mixed, mixed vibes. Um, I asked him, like, kind of what happened yesterday, and he just kind of was like, oh, you know, man, like, I don't know, like, I, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you about it later. So I kind of am assuming that Vinny was going to be the one voted out. He's lying. Like, every single word that comes out of this guy's mouth is a lie. Complete BS. Like, I know Vinny went home. I can't say that because I didn't want people thinking I was close with Vinny because then they're going to assume that maybe I'm close with Greg. But... Like, he's like, oh yeah, like, I never reached out to Vinny. Vinny told me that you, t or you, like, messaged him on Instagram the other day, so, like, I know that you two were talking. I told him, oh, I think he's going home, but in reality, like, I really knew he was going home. Um, so I don't want people, like, just sitting there thinking I'm out there, like, already kind of trying to strategize and scheme against them. I pulled Taylor aside, um, because her and I kind of expressed um, a desire to like connect with each other and, like I'm gonna tell you like I want you to tell you this because I want you to like trust me okay. in this game but um, I know that Vinny is, is voted out yesterday um, because I like I had actually been trying to reach out to Vinny I feel like Autumn I like Autumn a lot she seems really nice but she kind of scares me right a couple things on Autumn is one she's played before and so that's already giving her an edge target, on us. Yeah. Um, second, what she told us tonight about how her roommate situation went down last semester and how like that was kind of dramatic and crazy kind of questions, like puts a question into my mind that like, is she gonna do the same to us? I, I wanna trust Taylor. I feel like she's the person that like I can trust in this game kind of because I knew her before coming in and she, I mean, she's such like, just like a nice person that I feel like if I can get her on my side and I can get her to work with me, um, she's going to be kind of an easy vote every week. And he told me that he was going to try and work with Vinny, which really surprised me. And he was like, I want you to trust me. But at the same time, like he was scheming way before and trying to work with Vinny. So that kind of stressed me out. But I guess it's good that he told me. <laughs> After the tribal, we all went to dinner. Right. And, like, I don't know if I felt really comfortable with, like, all the conversations that went on. Robbie and Luke are telling Hannah and Jamie everything. Literally everything. And I, like, don't know why. Like, we talked about when we go and talk to them, we just have to remind them, Hannah, you would have been voted out if it wasn't for us. We kept you around. And Jamie, we wanted to tell you, but you were so close to Vinny, and we get that. We get that. I, I, no, I hear you out. I hear you. But, like, if you really think about it, there's nothing. I mean, three, we, two? Yeah, that's, you know, like, that's what I feel like we can all hang our hats on. But, like, I genuinely food. want to keep winning, and I don't want them to ever doubt that we, would be, we were being sneaky. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's exactly how I felt when I voted Vinny's ass out of here. All right, so right now, me, Mel, and Luke are on top of the team. Early game should be easy. Like we were sitting at the dinner table and like already I was like, why are we saying so much information? The only part of the- like, That made the me only, really uncomfortable. Like the only part that we had to tell them is that we wanted to include you, but we couldn't. But we couldn't. Here is- Come another vote. What you told me today about Robert, especially how he reached out to the four of you and not me, whether that was an accident or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I hope you can understand that I am a little paranoid of him right now. I'm not paranoid in a, like a, because I think that he's not very polarizing. You know what I mean? Like, who does want to work with Robert? Like that, you know Do we? <laughs> Do we? So we were just talking about how we thought that we clicked uh, the first day. So I uh, just wanted to meet up and make sure that the click was real. Yeah. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> it is real. Yeah, the one thing we did say though is that like, 
we thought that Nora maybe clicked like a little less. She was just like complaining, not yeah. even necessarily clicked. She was just like complaining before the first challenge started and stuff too. Like, right about the spit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which, which like I to drink, you're which welcome. to be fair like, <laughs> is a little Delicious. gross, but like you signed up for Survivor, so. Yeah. But we all really like Greg, mm -hmm. but maybe that's dangerous. Yeah. But we have no way of knowing how he played in his season right now. Um, so for all we know, he could be a super dangerous social player. After all, we are on the social tribe. Um, so I don't know. Andy does have connections on the other tribe. Um, I met with Jenna first. We both agree that we really like Greg. And while he is a threat since he was part of Survivor last season and came in eighth place, um, he's more of like an advantage to us right now as a tribe. They're talking with Ben. Um, it was interesting. He didn't really talk strategy at all. He talked about how much he loves Survivor. He talked about how he felt good with me and Jenna, which I mean, we'll both take that. Um, so I think that going into a vote, if we had to come to that, we could use him as an extra vote, but he may not be a good like group of four type of thing. I didn't want to be overly aggressive. Uh, I didn't want to jump in too quickly, but I do want to stay a little bit ahead of the game. And with tomorrow being the second challenge, I wanted to make sure that I at least started to get into the gameplay a little bit in case we were to lose. So I like pretty much everyone in our tribe. Um, I think you were definitely someone that I thought that I could, you know, have a connection with right away. I had some interesting information that I found out um, about Kern. Uh, so I went home and after we all like, had each other on Instagram, I started to look through, you know, who he follows, who follows him. I saw that he follows Vinny. Oh. And Vinny is the only other contestant other than the people on our tribe that he follows. The next day, I went back to check, and he didn't follow anyone. So I'm a little suspicious of her right now. That's weird. I talked to, so I talked to Taylor yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, I also got like pretty good vibes from her. I don't know yeah. uh, how you feel, but I think I think I like Taylor a good amount. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, so like, I think we could probably work together, like the three yeah. of us. And I think the three of us working together would be really good. I think we could benefit from that for sure. And I think moving forward, that'd definitely be a, a core alliance that I'd be happy to be a part of. I feel like it'd be pretty easy to convince at least one other person to vote for like, like I think Autumn is probably someone that we could try to vote out if we wanted, just because of the experience. Yeah. And that'd be pretty easy mm -hmm. to convince people. And then, yeah, Curran is like, you know, he does seem a little like outgoing. Like, it is a little much, like, comes on a little strong. And he's pretty cool. I think uh, there's definitely more to him than I initially thought. Typical athlete type figure, but he's got, um, he's got some good strategic thinking going on. And I definitely think I can work with him. And um, I think he'd be a good person to go forward with. Basically, I was just wondering if you uh, would be interested in like forming an alliance, I guess, with like you and Josh. Um, yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't know if you put two, two together, but I think she made it farther than she like, went off. Mm, yeah. Like she got third. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. So oh, you cut it up. Okay. So I was thinking about this like really in the shower. I was like, wait a minute. When she first told me, she was like, I made it like a little farther than the merch. I'm like, okay. And then she said that she voted Greg out. And she said, then it was two of them, like the two girls, and then she voted for the roommate, and the roommate voted for her. It was only four. And then the roommate got voted out, so then she said three, and then she said the other two girls voted her out the next time. So she made final three. And then you made final five, and everyone's like freaking out, like, yeah. I'm final five, I'm yeah. sitting there going like, wait a minute, <laughs> if you like add this up. Mm. Like, she made it pretty far. Yeah. Or what's really on it? I don't know, I think she's like, like we had us three, like if we like would lose, like maybe like reach out to her. I think it's a good move for me right now, strategically, so that I'm in a group of three, also being the only girl, so maybe that helps. Um, 
with numbers because I'm in on that. And then I talked to Curran yesterday, but um, I don't know really what he's thinking since he told me about the whole Vinny thing. That has me kind of worried that he's doing some sketchy stuff on the side that I don't know about. I suggested basically that um, me, Josh, and Taylor get together. Um, and then we've got a solid three, um, three out of the six of Shindana. And at that point, I mean, it's really just a matter of pulling over, um, just pulling over whoever you need to take out whoever we want, basically. So after Tribal, I was pretty much a giant wreck. Like, I was completely out of the loop on every single alliance. Hopefully yes. we don't lose, but if we do, we need to have yes. some kind of a plan. I feel like we're both a little bit worried. At risk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because it would be Mel, Vinny, Mel, Robert, and Luke. <laughs> so they could just like swarm in yeah. on us very easily. So we need to... God forbid we lose. We have to flip Luke. Yeah. On uh, on, Mel. on Mel because she is She's, a really big threat. Yeah. So I think I'm the one in the most trouble right now. Um, if we go to tribal again. So that being said, and being worried about possibly having a physical challenge because we're outside, and having this in my head before. Um, thank you, Ellie Donahue. You put this in my head from season one. I am going to make a fake community idol. If we lose, which I really hope is gonna happen, oh, but um, we talked about maybe trying to flip Luke on Mel and Robbie because Mel seems like a really big threat right now. She, I feel like she's controlling the game the most, and I feel like we might have a shot at that even though he seems like he's a very volatile player just because he was the last vote for Vinny and he like decided like 15 minutes before tribal what is what he said so yeah I don't know um if we convince him that taking out Mel will further his chances in his own game then we might have a shot Somebody guys. Uh, I, I saw a video in the first season. He's definitely a very strong player, but I'm surprised to see him going through it. But I mean, this is a game. It's a crazy game. I thought maybe that he would be able to lose into my office since we all know he was super strategic. But I guess they got some strong players on the screen. Good enough for their day. So, first things first, Shindan. Once again, immunity is back up four grabs. Same as usual. Two tribes want immunity. Two tribes lose this will be going to tribal council with me this week. So, four days of challenge. It's a very simple challenge. A combination of three principles in the one. What we have done is we've taken three parts of basketball, ultimate frisbee, and keep away and combine it into one sport. You will start across from a goal. Each tribe will be assigned a goal. You guys will pass an ultimate frisbee style across the field to get your ball into the goal. You drop it in as a point for you. However, you can also try to steal the other team's points and intercept their passes and then score their ball into yours as well. So with that, the difference in this game from a traditional basketball game, three balls in play. And you can score up to three points if you steal both of the other tribe's balls and score them. Each round will last one minute. So you have one minute to get your ball and anyone else's into a bucket. If you don't get it in, there's no one score. The tribe with the most points at the end of 
of seven rounds. Will win immunity. The tribe with the second most amount of points at the end of seven rounds. Will win immunity. And the tribe brings them out to win immunity. Guyanese is not here. She'll be sitting out for you guys. She got up one of you guys wanted to sit out. Make it five and five and five. And that'll be you guys going to start. That's going to start. Let's go. Okay. So, you guys have had time to strategize and everything. Shandana, who's sitting out? Autumn sitting out. Kaidi, Shandana, Naratibi. We got five on five on five. Most points at the end of seven rounds wins. Everyone understood? Cool. Let's get started. <laughs> All right. In the first round, we're going to start in three, two, one, go! One minute.
Kaidi has six. We have four points over there for Shindana. Let's go zero for Tartizu. Survivor's ready, go! Honestly, believe that I was the only one on that team who wanted it that bad. Um, just to prove that I wanted it that bad, I, I took a fall for the team. I mean, like it was really hard, and I felt like I was in middle school gym class. Like I swear, like I played something just like that when I was in like sixth grade. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good at sports, obviously. And maybe it's even after the first one where Tara Tibu scored zero. We were just like, let's keep them off the board and make them go to tribal again, which I was all for because they bought it off Vinny. So I'm pretty pissed about that. So if we can just kind of decimate them and hopefully make them keep making decisions and cutting ties, then, you know, music to my ears. So while I was on the sidelines, got not just one clue, but two. Um, I went like in a circle around the whole thing, trying to like pick up stuff. And um, one was already taken. Okay, I was over cutting Shandana's buckets and I was I really was not even looking for anything. It honestly didn't even pass my mind, which is probably not like a great survivor mindset or whatever, but um, yeah, so they scored a point and after they scored it, the bucket knocked over and I just like out of whatever leaned down to pick up the bucket and when I leaned down to pick it up, I found this. It's common in Survivor to see a tribe divide. One way you can solve that, find this idol that we hide. When your back's against the wall, that's when you'll need this power. Find it somewhere on North Campus in a place nearby a tower. I don't know. I don't think I know any towers on North Campus. I'm fucking done with this tribe. This sec I mean, we tried to convince ourselves that we had a chance at this challenge. I hate working with Robbie, I really do. Robbie's like been mistrusting me or whatever. Like I was working out one day 
he thought it was like me and Finney or something like that. And I'm like, dude, I, he's like, where were you? I was like, I was lifting. He's like, no, where were you? I'm like, I was doing back and thighs with my buddy Sammy, who is rushing, and fuck off. I know I don't trust either of them. They're really hard. And I know that if it were just us three, they would go together. I was yeah. My guess. What I foresee, I don't know. That's just something I want to deal with sooner or later. I would say Rabia. Really? Yeah. Why? He scares me way more than Al. We had like eight meetings planned. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Eight meetings planned? No. Well, we had. There was like, way too many that day. We had like the meeting with you. We had the meeting with us yes. four. Yeah. We had um, a meeting line. after that. Then the three of us. Then and I'm like, let me lift with my <laughs> friends. I want to get a ball. You need to get your inside. I needed some endorphins. Yeah. I was like, give me some endorphins. Honestly, at this point, like, anything, please. For real though, I had a very good conversation with Jamie and Hannah. And they don't know it's us three. They think it's you two. Damn. And they think that they think that they successfully pitched me to vote you. Do you guys feel more? Who do you guys? Who would you guys rather work with? It, that's the thing. I'd love to work with Jamie, but she's just so sketchy. She would know she's at the bottom. I'm an empathetic person. I was. I'm always putting myself in somebody else's shoes, and I don't want to be. I would hate to be Hannah or, or Jamie right now, knowing that they're on the bottom of the food chain. Now we got to have this whole episode about us again. But now it's just going to be really boring. Me, Luke, me, Mel, and Luke have a decision to make. I found out my tribe won the second challenge. Dabs on that. But I'm in Houston, so I'm out of town. Uh, I had to go because I had a wedding to attend, so I could not be at the challenge. My team's been really nice, like really, really supportive. Like really supportive, so it makes me wonder. Because I don't, we haven't actually talked it's the first challenge, like, at all. I met with Kevin today, and if I played my cards right, I think I made a genius move. Uh, meet with Jenna then, and she said that her, Rachel, and Ben were all meeting together today. Yeah, and that's that's what concerns me. Right, because yeah. I didn't know I wasn't invited to that. I didn't. I was know not invited to it either. I didn't know about it. Yeah, and so and so until Jenna told me, I didn't know anything about it. And so it's like, oh, okay, like, interesting. Yeah. I think I got Kevin real spooked that he might be on the bottom with uh, with me and Nora, and so I basically just you know tried to feed that, feed that, feed that, feed that, and by the end of the conversation, I feel like I kind of roped Kevin in onto my side and. I feel like he's got my back now. So I think our best bet is to hopefully just push Nora as, you know, kind of a tribal liability. Yeah, say we need to keep the tribe strong. Yeah. Uh, we need to not lose any more challenges. So hopefully we can keep Greg and vote out Nora if that's the case. I like Kevin. I think Kevin's cool. I think he's trustworthy. I think he's really nice. And I would feel really bad going against him and lying to him. I haven't talked to anyone besides Greg so far. So I, if there isn't a majority alliance, or alliance between those three. I'm on the outs of whatever they have to say. Um, Greg told me he thinks he's going to be targeted uh, just because he's a returnee. I, I think he's correct. I think there's a very plausible reason to vote him out. Uh, he's obviously a strong player, strong social player, strong physical player. Um, Though personally, I, I do not want him out yet. I, I trust Greg at this point. I think he doesn't have anyone else who wants to align with him or he trusts, to my knowledge. So if we do go to tribal, I think I'm going to fight hard to vote for Nora rather than vote for Greg. It makes me wonder if they're talking about me or if someone's talking about any of us behind our backs. Like, I haven't reached out yet. Just because, like I said, if we're not going to tribal council, there's no need for me to throw a life raft, right? And then the way I'm going to play the game is you eliminate the biggest threats first. And so the people you're left with last are the people you can easily get rid of or convince you to get rid of. Jamie has already reached out to me, asking to meet, meet up with me. Um, I'm gonna meet up with her. I might bullshit her. I'm just gonna be like, uh, I'll probably go along with stuff that she says. I might like say I wanna vote people out for my alliance, but I really don't. So <sighs> I was actually thinking deeply about my state in the game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not gonna lie, I know last vote, I voted with Mel and Luke, mm -hmm. but it's really intimidating knowing how good they are at the game. Yeah. And 
I mean, I would be open to joining with you in here tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Um, and if it was anybody, it'd be Luke for me. And Luke told us that he'd vote on our side. You know, kind of called us afterwards to reassure us, but it seemed a little bit rehearsed, so I'm not too sure about that. Um, I also met with Robbie the next day. Um, he's, to my surprise, he was like, oh, I know I voted with Luke and Mel last time, but I'd be, I'd be willing to flip on them and vote with you and Hannah this time. So pretty much I told everyone else on the team that. I mentioned that to Robbie, and then he said Luke, so. Robbie said Luke? Mm hmm Yeah. And he was like, you know, Luke, honestly. Of course he didn't mention Mel. Yeah, yeah. He would but never throw Mel's name out. Exactly. You would know it's fake if it was Mel, yeah. Right, exactly. So there's that. I really don't trust that for a second. No. I was well, surprised I feel like to the, hear your name be brought up there. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Oh, Robbie floated my name out there, so that was nice. But I'm worried about Luke still, but I don't think there's anything we can do unless we flip, and I feel like that's a death sentence for both of us, so, yeah. Honestly, best case scenario is me, Jamie, and Luke vote for Robbie. Robbie leaves. Mel is still tight with us. That's best case scenario. Hopefully travel goes well for me. I haven't heard my name, which makes me nervous. Um, I don't know if it should be the other way around. If I hear my name, I'm nervous, but I haven't yet, so I don't know how that feels, but I am nervous. So one in four chance of going home, I'd say. That's not too great, not too bad, but if I find an idol or if I just show them my fake idol, that could really change the game. I just feel like moving forward, like, I mean, like I said, I wanted to work with you from the beginning. Yeah, so, no, like, I want to work with you too. Like, like I got, like, we said a lot of the same things. Like, I felt like we got along as a dinner. Like, most of the time somebody would say something and we'd, like, look at each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we should set up, like, a group meeting with... <sighs> we should, I feel like, Robbie and maybe Luke, if he's in for it. Okay. So that automatically means you don't want, you want to vote Jamie out. <laughs> Who were you thinking? Who was I thinking? Yes. I was thinking Jamie. Why? Um, she seems really sketchy to me. Not not sketchy, mm -hmm. but like Does I just I, Yeah, exactly. That that's basically it. Mm -hmm. And like I can see her I can see her flipping to work with somebody else because it'll benefit her rather than mm -hmm. you. I, I see that you would really try to work with the rest of the team. Yeah. Uh, Hannah or Jamie. Preferably Jamie out um my target this week is Jamie and we're gonna talk about it me Mel and Luke will talk about it eventually I, I kind of want to jump ship why yeah, I, I've been considering jumping ship and like actually voting with you guys I don't, think that's, I don't think that's smart for you really it's, yeah. it's actually, I met with Jamie yesterday that's the same thing I told her uh-huh you're so. thinking about flipping interesting and I must say that nothing's really eventful you know, I'm not stressing. I have nothing to worry about. Our alliance is dominating the team right now. We have the numbers to vote off anybody we want to. He was like, I like would be willing to like flip on Mel and Luke because I want to get Luke out. He said, okay, so he said the same thing to me. Yeah. He said the same thing to me. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right, so he wants me out. It sounds like yeah. It sounds like he said the same thing to me at least. Yeah, no, that's and what he honestly, said. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me too much because he was like. Him and I butted heads a lot during the first like, yeah. vote. I think he just sees you as really? a big threat. He, do he does not want me to get Okay, so my job has won both times. Well, not won, but we haven't gone to the tribal council at all. So we're just chilling, and that stresses me out because now, like, everybody's bonding, and I don't know what to do. So I've been thinking about the hidden immunity idol a lot. So now I'm just thinking here, and we got these shirts on the first day. You know, it's a great shirt. It's really soft, actually. It says Survivor, and on the back I wait out, play out last. But right here it says you. Um, with this weird symbol on it. Why is this so hard to do in the mirror? Mirror. <laughs> okay, so I've been thinking about this. At first I thought it might be a brand, um, but then I googled it and I can't find any brand that's you 
So maybe I'm looking for this symbol somewhere on campus, um, maybe in the middle of the oval, something like that. Maybe it's carved onto a tree. So maybe I'm just losing my mind. I don't know. I'm feeling it. Yunkin Success Center. Y-O-U. Yunkin. Yunkin. I don't know even what it is, but I'm going. I'll see you there. Out that O, that would be the symbol. Just hear me out for a second. Watch this. That's the symbol. That's it. So, as it turns out, I am actually losing my mind. Um, I showed one of my roommates, shout out to Brooke, um, my Survivor shirt, and she was like, oh yeah, I know that brand, Greg loves that. And uh, yeah, so stalked Greg a little bit, found this picture. Yeah, he's wearing a shirt. Therefore, it's not a clue, it's a brand. I looked it up, here's the Facebook, there's people in the shirts. Yep. So that was a waste of an entire day and my family's day. Shout out to the fam. We're on the hunt. What's our what's our strategy? Find the idol. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good strategy. But still not feeling too safe, so I want to uh, go and look for some idols tonight and I have some company. Look at this. Allison Lunka, the beautiful Allison Lunka from season one, keeping me company. Season one. Oh, season two. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Okay, so I'm out looking for the idol now. I brought my friend Nicole with me Hi. to help me. Um, we're starting at the new clock tower. Or musicians. <laughs> the tribal, or uh, the yeah. idol this hunt's like, going really like well. This is like our ceremonious song. Yeah, it'll give us good <laughs> luck. It's like a rain song. We can do it. Uh, we made it all the way up to North Campus to the clock tower. Uh, still no luck. Um, it's very cold. I think we're pushing like two hours looking now. Um, but it's a beautiful structure. Uh, I've got some scripture above me from uh, President McKinley, so that's pretty cool. So, last night I decided to go looking for the idol and after much searching and almost giving up I found it legends aren't born they're made design your necklace congratulations you have found the hidden immunity, hidden immunity idol. However, this is no ordinary idol, but a trust idol. Unlike normal idols, this idol is only valid until there are seven players remaining in the game. If you wish to extend its power, you must reveal your ownership of the idol and obtain a signature from players in the game. One signature extends its power to final six. Two signatures will further its power to final five. There's actually a deadline for when I can get my signatures. Um, it's only up to the final 11 tribal council. Most of the time, it's best if you keep it a secret unless you absolutely need to tell someone. Um, so, on one hand, hopefully I don't need it, but on the other hand, it might be smart to trust someone with telling this if I can extend it. Um, I guess I'll just have to wait and see, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep working on this immunity necklace and hope that I don't need it anytime soon. I'm feeling bored. I just want to get to the, not the merge, but at least the tribe swap. It'll make it interesting. I'm definitely going to try to talk to more people uh, not on my team. We both just realized this we're is, huge Knicks fans. This is it's the most amazing thing I've, like, what that? That's the most amazing thing, but most like, what? Coincidence, so Coincidence, you don't see a lot of these in Ohio. Yeah.
but it's like creating those relationships like now before like the merge because I mean at the end of the day everyone thinks they're going to get to merge like I, I'm like I want to get to merge yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. and so like when that merge happens I don't want to start playing my game then. I want to start playing the game now right? so he says he's going to try to like you know create some allies on his end with his tribe and I'll create some allies on my tribe and then when it comes to the point where either a tribe swap or a tribe merge um, with everybody then like we've got like allies with each other and we can all help each other I feel like a lot's going to happen Considering that um, Teritaru is going to go down to four, I feel like there's going to be something happening with um, like maybe a tribe switch, which makes me nervous because Curran, um, I know, has been like talking to other people. And since he had mentioned to me um, his plan of working with Vinny before and then Vinny got voted out, it just makes me more aware that he is really a strategist and he is thinking long term in this game. So going, um, having him in the game when there is a tribe swap or possibly a merge makes me nervous because I feel like he's talking to other people more than other people on my tribe are. Um, I met with Juliana on Friday, which was um, made me really happy because she mentioned that she would be interested in working with me, and like I think we should have like a like a strong like connection before whatever happens this week coming up. I saw Karen talking to the purple team after. I saw that. I saw that too. I just feel like he's really like social, which is kind of scary. And that's like the thing is like, I do like him a lot, and like I would work with him. But also, he you can tell how much he wants it. Like the fact that he was willing to skip work, like to to go to the no, like he's like really committed to this, which is like he dropped a class. Like good, you can tell it's good, but it's scary. But it's scary because like he has like a, I think he has like that mind. And then like Autumn, she's so nice, mm -hmm. but she's like played this game before. Yeah. So you have to, and like that might be, like if we were to go to tribal, that might be an easy vote. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy because I finally formed an alliance with Taylor, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. We talked for a while earlier, and our strategy is pretty similar, and like we have a lot of a lot in common personality wise. When we were talking, it felt really genuine and personal. And it definitely felt like we were both being honest, so I think I can trust her. The paranoia of Survivor is real. And that's what Taylor and I both agreed on. So it's nice to know that at least I have someone who I can share similar feelings of anxiousness and fear with. Um, but also just to know that I have someone that I can count on. And I trust her a lot. I feel like she's very genuine, and I think she trusts me, which is good at this point because um, having her on my side gives us a majority of the votes if we were to go to tribal. Here we are. This is the group. This is the trio. Yes, it is. It's a Shindana three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> easy game. Easy game. I think Juliana's cool too. I think Juliana's pretty chill. Yeah, I think. For me, Juliana would be the one just because Autumn had made it like the final four in her season. So, like, she's obviously a pretty dangerous player. Uh, we solidified our alliance, which was nice to kind of get that squared away. Uh, we still need a fourth, um, you know, just for numbers wise. I don't know who that fourth is going to be. We didn't, you know, really agree on that, but. I'm not too worried about figuring that out. All we need is to pick up one person, and I know who it's not going to be. So, and we all agreed on that. So, um, I'm pretty confident moving forward. Everything seems to be really like up in the air. Um, initially, I was thinking that me, Jamie, and Luke would all vote for either Robbie or Mel. Oh, because they seem to be really big threats. Um, and that seemed to be the general like consensus. Um, but then last night, Jamie, Luke and I were hunting for idols and Jamie, or Luke was very cagey and he was like on his phone. And like every single time I looked at him, he was on his phone and he had like said, and uh, Jamie said that he was texting Rob. So, that is pretty damning, I would say. So I met with Hannah and Jamie today. Okay. Right. Together or separately? Together. Together. Okay. Um, and I had to like, I, first of all, I'm just gonna say I had to throw your name out there. Yeah, no, I, I know you. Have it was like, wrong. dude, 
it was like really awkward because like, I'm, me- I'm right. meeting with them I and they're like so and they're like I'm like what other name do I say they're not going to believe if I say no so right. the only logical thing to That's say no would be look you know, it's me us three what's our what's our this is this Jamie is that what we were saying Jamie I feel like is a bigger social threat right right so right now I'm pretty caught in the middle between uh, Mel and Robbie and Hannah and Jamie I would just go with Mel and Robbie easily because um they, I've been with them this whole time. I voted with them in the first travel, but what really worries me is that I heard Robbie's been throwing my name to Hannah and Jamie, and that he would flip on me and Mel. He did the same sort of thing uh, during the first travel, and he just scares the shit out of me, frankly. Um, I know he's been talking to people on other tribes, which scares me even more. Uh, but Mel trust him and I really don't want to go behind Mel's back. This vote is killing me alive. Oh my gosh. I so the entire week before this we were like dead set on Robbie. I had my doubts about Luke but I was pretty sure it was gonna be Robbie. There wasn't gonna be any curveballs. Of course there was a curveball today. So here's the deal. Yeah. Um, Mel and Robbie came up to me yesterday. They think we're still three strong in the vote. Right. And they said we're voting Jamie because she's way too good socially. Right. Right. And we actually went over it. And Mel was like, they're getting, I felt great with Jamie. I'm like, yeah, so did I. And Robbie's like, so did I. Um, and. Wait, are you considering flipping? I really think that getting Robbie out at this stage of the game is crucial for the rest of us. And Jamie is a threat that we can deal with later on, especially use her later on in a merch she'd be more willing to work with us than Robbie is there's gonna be 2-2 two, two either way after this fight there's gonna be four players right but it's gonna be 3-1 because you're gonna be able to go farther with the two of them than you would I don't know just me. I don't trust them that's math yeah I understand that that's it's math math what, what if we Robbie? get what if we get Robbie out now and then use the next boat to get Jamie out and get Mel the faster we neutralize Robbie, like the better. Like he is a wild card, and we need to get rid of him. Oh my god! So he's trying to work on Mel. We have like 17 minutes left. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. The person I want to get out of this game is Robbie. Therefore, the person I'm going to vote for is Robbie. Okay, so we're here again. Yay. Um. I wasn't particularly worried about this vote just because the three of us, Robbie, me, and Luke, voted together last time, so I felt pretty confident in that alliance. Um, I don't know if I still feel the same way. Uh, Robbie today talked to Jamie and Hannah without really talking to us about that meeting existing, and he also talked to somebody from another tribe. That being said, I trust Robbie way more than I trust Hannah and Jamie. Um, just actually voting wise, like while like Robert's not very great for strategy or like roping in other uh, alliance members, like I, I know that my vote will be the same as Robbie's at the end of the day. I know we can trust him for now, and it's hard to part with that. But I would so much rather work with him. Just gonna be honest. I just don't like Jamie still being in this game, either out of a split team. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Yes. I know that you <laughs> feel that way about Robbie, but I think that Robbie really trusts us. Robbie is going to want to put the same name down as us consistently. Now Luke is scared of Robbie, and that isn't great, because <laughs> obviously the plan was um, me, Robbie, Luke for Jamie, and... Luke has played like the both sides, so he feels very comfortable about the trust he has gained in Hannah and Jamie. And he's mentioned to me for the idea of voting Robbie. And while I can agree with him, like it's hard to work with Robbie, I don't want to vote Robbie. I just don't. She spent the better part of a half hour telling me all the reasons why she wanted to work with us. She, her end goal was a majority us three. And her end goal was, obviously, I don't want to get voted out the next vote. And if she feels comfortable enough with us, which I don't think she will until she sees the names on the paper, 
right now we are for sure voting Jamie because uh, Jamie honestly is too much of a social threat to be left in this game Hannah on the other hand she's really easy to lie to and she I don't think she can tell when we're lying um, uh, to be honest, I don't I, I don't think she's really that good at this game at all. <laughs> I mean, I like tried meeting with Mel and Hannah, or sorry, with Hannah and Luke today. Um, the timing didn't work out, so they told me they'd call me, blah, blah, blah. Never called me. I tried to call them. No answer. And then they gave me the excuse of, sorry, we were on the RPEC. And I was like, what does that have to do with not being able to call me? Which I didn't really understand, so. And I just, I really haven't. The only person I've talked to at all today is Hannah, because even in the group chat with Hannah and Luke, Luke didn't respond to my messages. So maybe that means, you know, Luke, Robbie, and Mel are all voting for me, and Hannah's voting for Robbie, and I'm voting for Robbie. Um, but regardless, I am going to bring my fake immunity idol today. Goodness gracious. Ugh, I don't know. Hopefully, Luke will see the light, and we will all be fine. Oh, we'll see though. Come on in, guys. Hello, everybody. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Welcome back to Travel Council for the second consecutive time and to the second Travel Council of Survivor Time and Change Urban Legends. You guys have been here back to back times, so I hope that the four that leave tonight are strong for because I don't want to see you here for a third straight time. So with that, we'll get straight into Tribal Council, but I want to address a little elf in the room. What do you got there? Oh, uh, so um, I, I said at kickoff that I was a, a magician, so a magician always has something up his sleeve. So I just wanted to portray that by every time I come into Tribal, I'm bringing my bag of tricks. Just so you guys know, anything could be in here. I have no clue what's in there, but <laughs> it's, it's easy access for anything that I need during Tribal. All right, so anyways, Robbie, uh, first question is to you. So let's pan back to last challenge. You guys put out Vinny at that first travel council. Vinny's an athletic guy. We go into this challenge, it's a pretty athletic challenge. And you guys got beat pretty badly. Didn't even score a single point. So you personally had some battle scars walking out of that, but still for not because you guys didn't even score a point and then here you are again. So how did it feel to lose that challenge as badly as you guys did? Wow. I feel really attacked. Holy crap. Um, I mean, it felt pretty bad, honestly. Like, I felt like I was one of the only people who could try my ass off. Like, like, is this not enough? <laughs> it's like, it, yeah, it looks pretty bad. But um, no, I, honestly, I don't think that, I think we gave it our all, but it just wasn't enough. We're the outwit team. You can only ask us to do so much than what our attribute is. Uh, for, I mean, like, I feel that I could easily be an out, outplay tribe as well because I do have that sports mindset, but um, not everyone has that. And they're on this tribe for a reason. So, Hannah, was it just not your guys' challenge? I mean, he says, like, you guys are the outwit tribe, but still, I mean, you got some athletes here, and it, it just wasn't your challenge? There was no strategy involved? Like, what, what went wrong? We really tried to strategize. Like, every time we went back, we were trying to talk it up. Everybody had a different role, but I really think that height had to do with it. The other tribes were way taller than us, and it was pretty, like, we couldn't just, like, they could just throw, get up and, like, throw it and above our heads, and we couldn't do anything about it. Like, 60% of us, like, I feel like we quit, like, right, like, in the middle of it, just because, like, we kept losing each round. And it, it was kind of annoying, because when I go back, I want to strategize, everyone's just, like, standing around, turning around, looking, kind of annoyed, but, like, Shouldn't we just, we're strategists, so every time we get to strategize, we had plenty of time to strategize, shouldn't we just like gather and strategize? You know what I mean? It just seemed like, specifically you, Hannah, kind of just gave up. It really seemed that way. How do you feel that way, Ralph? I personally think there was a way more strategy involved than what we initially put into it. Yeah. I mean, these teams are all playing like the Spurs, and we. It was terrible. So, sorry, Robbie, you said you think 60% of people quit, so that means you think 40% didn't? And 20% of that is you, so do you think yourself personally didn't quit? You know what? I think everyone else can just decide that. It just seems like you counted. First of all, you guys had Mel was three days. 
And it was the first day of the game, you've just met these people, and it's go, go, go. And now you have some time to really get to know these people. Do you think having more time for this vote made it, makes it easier, or is this one harder than last vote? I don't know if it's easier or harder, but it's more interesting. Um, I think that, uh, like, I, I felt like we were all really trying to hustle hard. Like, the first week, try to get alliances, try to make things happen. Um, I think we all kind of know where lines lay and, like, how we all work. Um, but I do think that there's a lot of weight on how last week went, like, looking forward. Like, even though this happened last week, can I work with this person? So then, Hannah, you received votes. Robbie, you received votes. And the other person who received votes was Minnie. So then let's turn to the other three. Jamie, do you feel at all vulnerable tonight that you could receive votes? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you asked us last week to raise our hand if we had heard any. Me and Mel did it last week, but I feel like everyone probably has this week, honestly. Um, so, for instance, like me, Hannah, and Luke went idol hunting, as you know, you saw us for many hours this weekend when it was nice out. Um, I continued after the fact, and I actually found it. So that was great. I mean, I had it with me if you did want to see it. Let's see it. I found it on Seth. I was actually surprised we didn't find it. It was really good. It was down by the parking garage. Or parking garage. Oh, that's true. I looked, on that day that we went, I looked for six hours, four hours of you guys driving myself. And I looked a lot, though it was. So, it was worth it, though, so. Silence here is kind of deafening. It's like we've had a lot of bombs dropped in the past couple minutes. People calling each other out on quitting in the challenge. Jamie brings up that she has an idol. So, and now I'm looking around, there's whispering, there's stress. What the hell is going on here? Luke, you've been visibly stressed. How are you feeling? I did not think anyone here had an idol. I don't think that that speaks anywhere to where the vote's going tonight or where it was and now might not be. My shock is purely just shock, especially because I live on South and it must be right under my nose. Uh, so I just, it's not that the vote was going your way or any other way. I am just shocked that someone actually found one. I was convinced it didn't exist, but. Um, someone being a Roddy has my bag. <laughs> well, we know it's not an idol now, probably, but. Uh, you show sure us. <laughs> it's, uh, it's terrifying. <laughs> I just go on. I, oh, I thought you were going to go I'm not over showing there. anybody who's in my bag of tricks. That's fine. <laughs> she revealed hers. So... I don't have a special thing. A lot of whispering going on. We've had a very hectic first week. It's day nine of this game. Still got a long way to go. We are a tenth of the way through this game. And if it's this stressful now, it's only going to get worse. So I think that's a great time to transition into the vote. With that being said, Luke, you're up. Votes read, the decision is final. Person voted out, we asked to leave the travel council area immediately. Three votes. First vote. It's Robbie. Jamie. I'm with Robbie. I'm with Jamie. Robert. Votes Robbie. Go Jamie. And the second person voted out of Survivor Time and Change Urban Legends is Robbie. Oh my Robbie, God! Robbie, that's three tonight. That is wow! Enough. Holy shit! <laughs> right, Let's 
Let's go. Okay. Right. Oh, wish we didn't lose, but. <laughs> Bobby, drop his phone. Had a fun travel council. Obviously, that's that surprised Robbie. Doesn't seem like it was a surprise to most of you. The question is, will this four be strong moving into the next challenge? Because, like I said, we're only a tenth of the way through this game. We've got a lot more to play. With that being said, that's some great stuff. Head on out. Honestly, it's a compliment that it's a compliment that I got voted out today. Um, obviously, I wanted to play longer, but clearly, I was playing a little too hard for Mel. Uh, that's probably who flipped on me. That's 100% who flipped on me. Uh, holy shit! Yeah, I'm. This game does some shit to you. It, it, it's definitely one of the best games ever, though. I hope I wish the best. For, I wish the best for the rest of the team. Uh, it was fun while it lasted. It was definitely an experience. Oh my god! I would have never made it in this game. I was too smart for this game. <laughs> I, I, I was openly too smart for this game. I'm pretty sure that was the problem. I wish my. I wish the best of luck to Mel. I wish the best of luck to Luke. I wish the best of luck to all of them.